Derek, you are being you're very skeptical about this story from the Free Thought Project. Yeah. They're saying the New York Times is reporting the following. Quote, sometime in the next few weeks, aides expect President Obama to issue orders freeing dozens of federal prisoners locked up on nonviolent drug offenses. Let's stop right there. Expect to happen? This is already not news. That's true. Show me when he's done something. Yeah, good point. All right, I'll give you I'll give you that, no doubt. With the stroke of his pen, says the Times, he will probably <laughs> Commute more sentences at one time than any president has in nearly half a century. Weak. And it doesn't put into perspective that Jimmy Carter, uh, what is it called, where he pardoned all of the draft dodgers. All of them. Not 80. Really? Yeah. Not scores. All I of them. I didn't know that. In, in one stroke of his pen. So for them to ex- exaggerate and say, oh, you know, all these people got freedom. I know it's a different kind of freedom, but hmm. there have been presidents who have done much more. Well, I guess, uh, can you pardon somebody who hasn't been convicted of something? I mean, all, all the draft dodgers you're talking yeah. about. Was they he just sort of I don't know Nixon. if I'm using the... Yes, they can. I don't know if I'm using the correct terminology, yeah. but the, you get the gist. Is I that, believe you can. The expansive use of his clemency power is part of a broader effort by Obama to correct what he sees as the excesses of the past. Well, this is, uh, hold on, this is a meme that's gone on with Obama for quite some time. Obama, Barack Obama is the greatest president ever. You're going to have to show me some evidence. Um, So I believe Derek J is exactly right when he says that it's a big old pail of horse crap when they say that Barack Obama is pardoning more people than has, um, you know, in one fell swoop. Maybe you can say it's more convicted people. I think that might be the case. Okay. If he does it. And I think your best point so far is this is speculative. Maybe he won't be doing this after all. Maybe this is, you know, they say he probably He's will. got a pen. Yeah. Like somebody can type something up for him right now. Well, right. If he were a great president, he would have pr- uh, pardoned these people when he took office the first time. What's he waiting for? I'm, well, I mean, do it now. Why pl- send out the press release? I guess is what my question is. Is you know why do we have a press release out on this? It would have. It was just as much work to type up the press. Well, release. I don't know if this is a press release. It's uh, his aides expect. So someone told something to somebody. And that aide could have spent the time typing up the yeah. piece of paper that Barack Obama was going to sign. I exactly. I'm just so sick of this. Oh, let's send out little feelers here and little feelers mm-hmm. there. You know that Bar- Barack Obama knows that his aide said this. And if not, there have been so many leaks from so many administrations at this point, I don't see how I can expect anything other than that to be true. I'm just, you know... Don't don't stop stop using the 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 leaking system to get your news out and then arrest whistleblowers in the process. I've, I've I'll tell you this: Barack Obama is the most opaque president. He has the most opaque administration in recent history, and he's locked up more whistleblowers than any other president. That's true. There's a little press release for you that nobody gives a <laughs> flip about. 